Hey y'all, today is January the 10th, 2019. I keep saying 2018. And um, I am four months post op. And yesterday I went to my, it was supposed to be my three month post op, but since the school was out, um, I had to reschedule, so it actually ended up going for, um, put me back to four months. But, um, I weighed in yesterday at 240. My highest weight was 306. So, um, quite a bit of weight drop. Get, um, my home weight, though, when I weigh at home, it's like 236. So, altogether... I've been going by my home weight, so all together it's like exactly 70 pounds from my highest weight. But I didn't get too good of news yesterday. Um, not like I really expected, well, not like I wanted to. I kind of expected it because I've been keeping up with my labs. But I had to get labs the other day, and um, they, um, I've had, um, I've had thyroid disease since I was probably 17 after I had my first kid. And um, that was super high this time, so they had to up my medicine, which, I mean, isn't that big of a, too big of a deal. But um, then my vitamin D was low, which it's been low for a while. And plus, I've not been getting outside a whole lot um, because it is winter. So hopefully that'll come up some in the summer or when it starts getting warmer and the sun starts coming out. But the biggest thing was um, I'm malnourished, which was kind of scary. It's actually really scary because they did say that um, they do put feeding tubes in at, at levels that like, I think it was like, she puts feeding tubes in at like levels at 14 and my levels was 15. Um, I ate a really, really low carb meal. Um, mainly because my sugar, I don't want to do too much insulin because I've lowered my insulin quite a bit since having the sleeve. Um, I was taking or anywhere between 150 units a day to 200 units a day. Um, and now I get around 40 units a day. So every time I eat, I have an insulin pump. So every time I eat, I don't do um, any like boluses. I just let my pump continuously run through me because I eat super low meals. But they want me to up my carbs to 20 grams of carbs for breakfast, lunch, and supper. 10 grams of fat for breakfast, lunch, and supper. And they want me to up my protein to um, 70 grams a day. 70 to 90 grams a day. I'm usually getting anywhere between 50 to 60 grams a day. Which isn't bad. But they said where my carbs were so low... It just wasn't working out for my body because it was, it's pretty bad, but I feel great. I mean, I, I really do. I haven't had any problems, but I have been trying to eat my carbs like I'm supposed to, but it's playing a major, like, mind game on me. I... I don't want to. I mean, and I'm obviously going to have to. I mean, I don't want no feeding to. But, um, it's, it's hard. Because, I mean, I don't, I keep thinking to myself, I, it took me forever to change the ways I eat. I don't, even though I do eat less food having the surgery, which is what the surgery does. I completely changed my eating habits. I don't eat any kind of sweets. I don't eat bread. I don't eat anything that's bad. I completely, com I mean, 100% changed the way of eating. So I don't want to 
it's just scary having to up my carbs now because I just keep thinking to myself, that's how I got fat. And I know 60 grams of carbs isn't bad. I mean, I've been a diabetic for almost 20 years. So I know how to count carbs and I know how to do that, I, all, everything like that. So what? So I know how to do that and I know how to do it right. I know the difference in good carbs and bad carbs. But it's just still scary, and it's it's just playing a big mind game right now. It's like mentally. But that's really been, that's just, it's just, that's just mentally been playing a role right now since yesterday. Um... I did try, they wanted me to start like eating oatmeal and things like that because, you know, oatmeal's good. But, so I woke up and I ate a half a pack of oatmeal this morning and it's getting lunch time now and I haven't been able, I'm not hungry at all. What? I'm not hungry at all. Mm -hmm. Say hi, Paisley. <laughs> Say hi. But I'm not hungry, so eating all them extra carbs mm -hmm. is um, mm -hmm. making me a whole mm -hmm. lot less hungry than what I even was before. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Who is that? So, I guess mm -hmm. that's my major update right now. Um, which is, like I said, that is scary. I, I mean, I'm sure it happens often. I mean, so I've been trying to get in more protein. I'm going to get me some more protein next week. What are you doing? And um, go from there. You're being silly. But I don't know. I'm just scared. My husband's scared. But. I'll get through it, and, and plus I have until, I guess I gotta get my, all my labs redone next week, the, well, the, not next week, the end of next month, and get them all redone, so, I will, um, mm, thank you, that's so yummy, oh, mm. <laughs> But, that's my major update right now. I don't think I really have anything else. No? Do I have more? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but, um, I will hop back out here next, um, Mama. Week and I'll also post pictures. Oh, she pulled my insulin pump out. I'll post pictures at the end of this video of um, my um, progress that I've also made from I think it, I think I did it was at 2:40, so right around the same weight I am now. So from 3:06 to 2:40. Um, but I will see y'all later. Bye. Say bye. Say bye-bye.